Hey guys and uh, welcome to Top Channel 101. So today I'm doing something different. I'm doing a reaction to the, some of the GDC content we saw from Unreal Engine, our presentation. Uh, so GDC happened a few days ago and uh, Unreal Engine did, uh, our Epic Games did a presentation of seven hours long. That's nearly half, uh, that's ne nearly half a day. Oh, to some people that's actually a, a full day. And uh, they did present a lot of content uh, that I think uh, a few people sat can sit through a seven hour uh, a seven hour presentation so i'm just going in and uh, looking some amazing uh, demos uh, that uh, we can talk about and react to so yeah today i wanted us to look at uh, their new meta human uh, system or an update to their new meta human animation system if you don't know what meta human is basically the, like the human generator add-on for blender but uh, this time meta human works uh, ex i think exclusively with unreal engine uh, to produce procedural uh, human humans or human characters uh, that you can change and customize to your own liking like what you would see in uh, a, a game like uh, GTA uh, this time the content or what you're producing has more visual fidelity they they are really have better quality than what you can imagine uh, GTA can uh, produce and uh, here they update they're showing off or they're showing a demo where you where because Henry, demo, the metahuman didn't really support uh, character animation at least to the same level as they're showing here uh, so they are receiving this update where you can actually use your iphone to record yourself and uh, your official animations will be transferred to a character within unreal engine and uh, even generate your face a face that looks identical to you so this is a uh, an actor performing the I need performance let me just to use iPhone as well as stereo professional systems and today we're going to demonstrate how it works. For this we're going to need Mel, yep. our technician John Cook and just the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Mel can you take your position please? Sure. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Okay and action. I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. <sighs> and sometimes, all I need is a look. Cut. Thanks, Mel. That was great. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Yeah, so that's her performance. And uh, in just a matter of seconds, it's, cut, cut. it's going to be transferred to the Unreal package. And uh, as you can see here. John is currently pulling Mel's performance from the phone onto his machine, where everything will be processed locally. We have updated our live link face mobile app to capture all data at the best resolution possible with the device. MetaHuman Animator uses video and depth data to convert um, uh, this data into high fidelity performance animation, and it can even use audio to produce convincing tongue animation. John is currently scrubbing through the take to pick the section that he wants to process. John, are we all good with the data? Awesome. Yeah, I guess it's using Wi-Fi or something because you can see there isn't any wire connection. So that's another thing. You don't have to rearrange your setup. And uh, this is what it has co captured. It looks a bit jagged and uh, it doesn't really look like a, a clean mesh. But uh, somehow they managed to clean it up and uh, even build the back of her face uh, to create a character that looks like like her and uh, let me just play for you i'm going to be leaving a uh, link to the final video and you can see now it's adding those control points that uh, you would, you usually add yourself manually in uh, to the character to be able to control their ray but here the uh human generator can do that within a few seconds this is real time actually because uh, you can see uh, they are not speeding up anything and they have uh an artist on the stage doing this live on stage and you can see that that's the footage they recorded and uh, that's the mesh the uh, meta meta human managed to create within unreal engine uh, it's really really impressive you can see even uh the facial expression so i think they have some uh, uh shape keys already in in meta human uh, but so you can you, you you don't only have to work with uh, the animation you have recorded or the footage you have recorded you can even get some after generating the face the face like uh, the, the the face mesh uh, like you see you can even use other shape keys like the, you show the, they showed here uh, a few frames back when testing out the mesh to make sure that uh, everything worked uh, let me see if i can get that yeah you can see she didn't do any of those expressions i think this is just a test 
process uh, that uh, the system goes through to just show that everything has been mapped correctly to the face. And uh, here you can see. Okay. Okay. Which today is on the latest PNG hardware of Metri Beam and Enemy uses a custom metric facial assault and landmark detector. We can interact with It's really, really perfect. You, you can see how even the wrinkles are lining up correctly. If an animator want, wanted to do this out manually, it would take him quite a lot of time. Just, just look at uh, her lips there. How they line up everything it's, it's not just doing uh, uh rigging the face it's actually motion tracking the entire face uh, that's why you see that uh, her skull is actually mapped correctly to the to the mesh uh, and uh well maybe it's it's not just mapping it it's uh because it's used the the face to to generate the mesh i guess that's why it's lining up but it really works seamlessly and can do all the expressions you need just is even harder than actually animating the, the face itself so this is doing it in a matter of seconds so matter of seconds to record matter of seconds to rig up the character or transfer the to generate the mesh at the best mesh and then rig up the character and actually animate it in the in the way that uh and i guess if you do it if you have done this for if you do this uh, let me show you maybe we can we just need to ask for information it takes only 2 seconds and then john needs to drop it in the level and add the audio so that we can see the result so mel's meta human should now be ready in the level mel you excited to see the results yeah can't wait to see it <laughs> i need performance capture to work like a mirror i need it to capture whether i'm acting scared or angry and sometimes all i need is a look Yeah, I'll put, I'll put this side by side, uh, the original footage and uh, the character, because I, they didn't do it in the demo, just to show you how uh, those two uh, look. Uh, it's, it's just a different way of... Uh, workflows are changing, uh, are really changing a lot. And uh, I, I think three years back, we didn't even... We couldn't imagine uh, Unreal Engine, any engine to be used for animation. Usually, you would uh, animate something in a, a DCC like Blender, and then export that animation into Unreal Engine. But now we are starting to see the reverse. Now we're starting to see uh, that there is an advantage to do the animation within a game engine like Unreal Engine and then export that animation into Blender. It's something you would never think of. Uh, usually it was always the other way around. Uh, this, uh, uh, this is like a Blender Cinema 4D where it just used uh, for animating and uh, bake, you bake the animation into the, uh, the mesh or into the, the amateur and then export that animation to Unreal, into Unreal Engine because uh, game engines don't uh, have didn't have didn't have support for uh, control uh, IK controls uh, like you see in Blender when you rig up a character and then you just control one bone uh, that uh, is rigged up to uh, control the IK of other bones. Uh, Unreal Engine didn't have that, but I think now it has it has something like that. I don't remember very well, but I think it does now have it so you can actually animate within unreal engine because it's, it's getting much easier to do that uh, than working within blender because uh, the steps to animate in blender is uh, are just depending on what you're working on if you're working on a sterilized character but i think you can they even showed that uh, you can transfer this animation onto a sterilized character so if you have something like a cartoon let me just go ahead here yes, we are using a bespoke 4d rig which we created together with ninja theory for hellblade 2 but it's also ready to use on any MetaHuman or any other rig that follows our new MetaHuman standard. Let's have a look at that. <laughs> I need performance capture to work like a mirror. I need it to capture whether I'm acting scared or angry. <sighs> and sometimes all I need is a look. So the same thing works even on stylist characters. Yeah, that's the beauty of this system is that uh, it can be transferred to different characters in different uh, with, uh, with different facial proportions. Uh, so, for example, here, if you look at, uh, yeah, just look at how complicated this rig is. Uh, setting it up, and uh, this is not actually the actual. This is not the actual rig. These are the controls, uh, like the UI, the UI. Uh, yeah, what would use what you would use as a, a UI for the face instead of uh, working with the actual 
uh, controls, bone controls on the face itself. So this is a separate interface on the side so that you don't, so when your character is maybe, so maybe when you animate your character looking at the top, uh, if you are working with the controls on the armature itself, on the face itself, they would also move to the left. So it would be harder to, move, it would take a lot of time to move around every time you move the face to control those. So they usually have a side 2D interface uh, like this here. Uh, that you can that never moves you can just animate that and uh, just look at how complicated that is and now imagine what the actual controls on the face are going to look like it's it's just a lot of yeah it's it's a, it's, a, it's a quite a lot of work that is getting simplified over and over and uh, like he said here is that uh, uh they're now creating a meta human standard uh, that uh you can maybe, if you match that standard in Blender, rig up the character in Blender, uh, do whatever you want. You can transfer that into MetaHuman, and uh, if as long as that means is the same, if you use the same standard as a uh, MetaHuman, you can uh, use that in uh, MetaHuman as well, and uh, just export between the different applications and uh, do some of the expressions or some of the animations in Unreal Engine and or MetaHuman, and then transfer them back into Blender. But uh, I was saying, I was talking about this. Uh, the face proportions you can see they are quite different from this character sterilized character to the uh, realistic face here and the animation still transfers correctly which is really perfectly which is really perfect so you can see that uh, uh you, you don't get you don't have as much expression in the in the character in in the in this character so you don't have a lot of wrinkles or anything but uh yeah you're still getting uh, the same animation even the shoulder movement is still uh, it still matches with the original i think this is an impressive uh stuff this is impressive stuff and uh, i'm really excited to see how it's going to work so yeah human generator is the add-on i was trying to talk to to talk about uh it works like uh um, meta human uh, for blender it works directly in blender and uh, it comes with these characters that you can customize i have an affiliate link uh for it if you want to get it and uh, explore it uh, but uh, yeah it, it's basically the blender answer or the blender community answer to human uh, to to meta human and uh, you can see how you can use it here you can use it to cr create clouds and uh, the, the you can pause the characters they come with uh, their own uh, clothes uh, that you can interchange uh, to make different variations of your character yeah so this is a space i'm excited to look at and uh, like i said there are a lot of uh demos they did in uh, their gdc pre presentation uh i mean it was seven hours long so you would imagine that to be the case so thank you for watching i'll see you in the next video